Hey guys, welcome to another video of SM Solution. In this video, I will show you how to set up the most popular hotkeys. First thing first, just to tell you before is if you are new with hotkeys, don't go with your real account. So you can see me right now, um, I am with my paper money. So I do practice with my paper money this couple of days with hotkeys to get used to them. So just to let you know, don't go with your real money with your hotkeys because you will not know how to use them. Sometimes you want to buy, you click a short position example. Uh, just practice first like this, you can actually get used to them. So first thing first is you're gonna go to main hotkey. By the way, the platform that I use is, you can see over there is trade zero. I know I received a lot of uh, question with which platform I'm using. So I'm using the trade zero pro. So the moment that you click here you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you again. So main hotkeys, you can actually see that I have a couple of them already done in my system. So I'm gonna show you how to do everything here. And I will actually show you, explain you what's the difference between those hotkeys. First thing first, we can, I'm gonna show you how to cancel the last order. So you can see in my case, uh, to cancel the last order is F1. So F1 will cancel my last order. So to have this one, you just have to click new. You go on all orders action. You decide which hotkey, for example, in your case, you want to put F12. You're gonna put the description, cancel last order. I'm gonna put just, I'm gonna put video just like this. I can know which one I can delete at the end of this video. Uh, video. So. You go on selection, you have a couple of stuff that you can put so you can actually decide to cancel the last order. You can decide to cancel all orders. So if you have a couple of orders and you want to cancel them at the same time, you just have to cancel all orders. So the one that we're gonna do is cancel last order. After that, you have prompt for confirmation. So if you want the confirmation, you can put it, me personally for this hotkey I don't. So I remove this like this. My The moment that I click F12, it will go directly on the system and it will cancel last order. So after that, you have to save that and you see it here at the last. Cancel last order. You see it, the first one. The next one is when you want to liquidate 100%, 75. I have a couple of them. I never use them. To be honest with you, I never use those one, but I'm gonna still show you how to do it. So you just have to go on new, liquidate. So you decide which hotkey. Uh, if you want to put F9 to liquidate uh, 100%, I'm gonna put video here. So you decide what's the amount of percentage that you want to liquidate. If you, to give you an example, if you have a position at 500 of shares and you want to liquidate 100 percent it's going to be 100 percent so it's going to send an order with 500 shares if you want 50 percent you can decide to put 50 percent so it's going to send an order with 250. so the route is always smart yeah and like i said this one you decide if you want the confirmation or not for those type of hotkeys i don't put confirmation i'm going to show you exactly in a couple of seconds which one i put with the confirmation but those one i don't so you just have to save so like i said those one when you want to liquidate it, it's going to liquidate it at the market order so it's going to cancel automatically on almost the last the the orders that you have open so you can if you have one i don't know you have an order open with 1,000 shares is going to cancel 1,000 if you put 100%. If you have 75%, it's going to cancel only 75% of the shares that you have at market order. The next one is when I want to buy. So you can actually see here is buy 500. I'm going to show you exactly how. Give me a second. Okay. So to send, to create a hotkey to buy at the bid, or the ask you decide in my case this one i'm gonna actually buy 500 at the ask so you go on setup 
for send an order so you decide in my case i have to buy i have control b to sell i have alt b so it's it's actually easy to remember so everything when i click control is to buy when i click alt is to cover my position so even if i want to short example 500 i'm going to show you in a couple of minutes if i want to short i'm going to click control s and if i want to cover i'm going to click alt s so if you I want i'm going to just put it at control q because i already have control b so control b is going to be buy 500 at ask So the side is you want to buy shares 500 you can put 1000 you can put 100 you decide 500 with a limit order so you can put market order but it's like you want i rather put limit order at the ask so it's almost the same the only difference is i will not get fill at uh, 10 cents uh, or 20 cents at uh, higher price the root is you decide I choose smart day so we're gonna put at the ask so with this you have also price offset because right now if I send 500 shares at the ask you can see on my level 2 right now it's at 641 so if the price go up at 642 I will not get fill is gonna give me is gonna fill me only if it's at 641 or a better price so I always put three cents like this. It give me a little bit of space to uh, if the price go up, at least I can get fill three cents more. Sometimes the price go up 10 cents because it's a very volatile stock. So you're going to see the level two is going to go up really quick. But I mean, at least I can have like a protection i can have something that's going to give me three cents more so in this position just to give you an idea if i click if i click this control q is going to send an order to my broker to buy 500 shares with a limit order at the ask with a price of offset of three cents so i can get filled between 641 to 644. Uh, auto send order when i want to open a position i always want a confirmation personally like this i can actually know exactly what's going on i can be sure so i always want a confirmation when i want to open a position so in this case i will not click on auto send order if you decide to remove the confirmation you can actually click on auto send it's going to go automatically but when i want to open a position so when i want to buy i actually rather have a confirmation but when i want to sell to close my position i send it directly with no confirmation so i'm going to show you now so you just have to save this one first so you can see now we have control q it's going to buy 500 control q 500 at the ask with the offset of three cents the next one is when you want to sell so we're going to put new set up or send order so uh, alt a sell 100% so this one is I use this hotkey to cover my long position so sell on set of shares I'm gonna put position because sometimes when I go long, sometimes I decide to go with 500 shares. And if I see that the stock is going up, I can add more. So to close one time my position, I rather have position. And you can see now you have the percentage sign. So I want to close 100% with the limit order. Smart day. Add the bid. When you want to sell at bid, this price offset, you will not do plus three really important to put minus two because you are selling uh, the position. So minus two minus, you have to be on the minus. So I'm gonna put minus three. So same thing. So 634, I can sell my price to 634 to six, uh, to three cents more. So 634 to 631. 
so I can get filled between the, this range of price. And this time, because I want to get out of my position really quick, I don't want to stay, I want to get all the money that I can get, so I'm gonna send auto send order. So what that will do is, it's gonna send the order without any confirmation. So you're gonna save. So here's your sales. Oops, I put five, uh, removed 100%. Safe. Okay, so now we did three. So we did, actually we did four. So we cancel last order with F12. Liquid it. Honestly, don't use this one. It's market order. You can get fill so bad. So I actually don't suggest you to use this one. I don't use it. I don't know why it's still here. I'm going to delete it. Uh, we also did buy 500 at the ask with an offset of three cents. So this one's gonna be like a market order, but with a protection of three cents. Uh, the difference between a limit order regular and this one is I have offsets. And we have, by the way, when you want to buy it, for me, I don't have, I, I don't have the auto send order, I want a confirmation. But when I want to close my position, I want it to go fast, so I send it automatically. So what's the next one, let me see. Uh, I think it's the short. Yeah. So now we're gonna short. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to actually have hotkeys to short this time. So same thing. Set up or send an order. Uh, this time you can put uh, I don't know. K. Control K. Short. Five hundred. Ask. Uh, sorry, did. So, you see that, I know that with interactive broker, you only have buy and sell, so if you want to short, you're gonna click sell, but with trade zero, you actually have buy sell, and you want if you want to short a position, you actually have to click sell short. So even with the hotkeys, you have to click sell short. So we're gonna say, shares 500 shares with the limit order smart day and bid so we are selling so the price of offset is going to be minus and i don't want to send automatically the order i want the confirmation because i i am opening a position so i want to get a confirmation and we're going to save that I just want to show you what the confirmation is. This example, right now you see I have a hundred at market. So if I click that, the confirmation is just on my level two, you're gonna see that everything is already filled. So I have 500 limit, same day, at the ask, and I just have to click. So this is the confirmation. You have to click again. I rather have this when I open a position. Same thing when I short. If I could short, you see now, I'm I have 500 limit also. I just have to click short. So let's let's get back. So we just did Control K to short 500 with no confirmation, with an offset of three cent at the bid price. Now to cover. I'm gonna show you to cover short position. So same thing, you always click set up or send an order. Uh, this time I'm gonna put Alt K, cover 100 at ask, uh, sorry. Bit. So uh, I just want to make sure that the order is here. No, uh, this card, yes. Uh, Okay, let's see. Okay, so to cover, we're gonna send set up, cover. So this time we're gonna put position because we want to cover 100% of our positions with the limit order. Uh, smart. 
day at the ask and this time because we are co covering so when you cover you do buy back the shares so plus it's gonna be plus three not minus minus is when you want to sell buy is plus three buy at the ask and this time because i want to cl this cover side is to cover my position so i want to be auto send order like this is automatically sent and with no confirmation because when i want to exit my position i want to do it fast so you save it oh i forgot to put that alt k cover 100 cover at bit uh, ask. so save so you have it here And the last one that I'm gonna show you is if anything happened, you want to cancel all orders. If you have a couple of them send, you have a couple of limit order, you want to cancel all orders. So you can put, just to show you, you can put uh, Alt, Control Alt T, you decide, cancel all orders. So you go here, you click all orders, and you cancel so you can actually see that you have a couple of them on the selection so you can cancel the first last all buy all sell all short all cover or you can just cancel all orders so this one would cancel all orders prompt for confirmation do you want the confirmation or not you decide and you save it so this is for me the most popular hotkeys like i said if you are new with hotkeys just practice with your paper money because sometimes you get mixed with like you want to buy you click the sell so just practice and yeah so this is i'm gonna do a small recap so what we did today is let me find what we did okay so we canceled the last order i show you how to cancel last order uh, i showed you how to liquidate a hundred percent of your uh, position which i don't suggest even if it's said 50 and 100 you decide which the percentages i showed you how to buy 500 at the ask with an offset price i showed you how to cover your long position with no confirmation because you can see here auto send order i showed you how to go short and i showed you how to cover from short so those are the most popular uh, if you have more idea more suggestion of our hotkeys i missed just leave them on the comment i'm gonna check them and see if i can put them on my uh, daily trading and don't forget to drop a like and have a good one and i hope that you learn a couple of stuff with the new video